breath freshness. Mm. Now this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, it talk about being suspicious. When I saw these in a in um, the Qingyi furniture store at the checkout, mm. so you're going to buy furniture. What do you need <laughs> to buy chewing gum for at the checkout? <laughs> so that made me a bit skeptical and suspicious. There we are. They're everywhere, aren't they? Yeah. Don't show the brand names. No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Um, didn't want to get in trouble <laughs> and also diet soft drinks <laughs> but I think we all know the, the diet soft drinks and in the factories where they make these diet soft drinks the, the workers are dressed like spacemen in hermetically which can be completely sealed yeah. sealed suits so what does that tell you and then you drink it what is this it contains aspartame aspartame mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Rumsfeld, who, who worked for the company, and then went back into the government and pushed it through <laughs> with the oh. FDA. Thank you oh. very much. And uh, yeah. uh, uh, It's a pity that uh, when uh, I was talking about Monsanto, mm -hmm. I didn't even mention this because I didn't know about it. Well, there's, there's so much, isn't there? So much. Yeah, there is so much. <laughs> so there? much. The web, the, the wicked web is so, <laughs> it covers so much, right? Yeah. You know. So would you mind, so, would, would yeah. you mind to read this? Well, it causes... Um, when heated to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, human mouth is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, aspartame releases free methanol that breaks down into formic acid and formaldehyde <laughs> in the body. Monsanto, the creator of aspartame, knows all about the dangers. They fund the American Diabetics Association, the Conference of the American College of Physicians and Congress. A recent report from Business Week showed that Monsanto spent $2 million lobbying the U.S. government in the third quarter of 2001 alone. I see, I see, I see. You know, it's just that when I, when I did study nutrition um, back in the 80s, I found that the, the, um, the, the nutrition figures were actually funded by the supermarket companies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a similar situation, really, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, again, I didn't know about this. Um, if it wasn't for, for Gary, then um, I will be, remain stupid for my whole life. Well, Monsanto, not, not just responsible for GM food, but, but also for this aspartame, which is... Aspartame. You know, what all, is aspartame? Uh, aspartame. Also, also, you might see, see it labelled as Nutris Sweet, Spoonful, spoonful Candorel and Equal, you know, as well as or the number, E number, E951. E yeah. So yeah. aspartame is actually made up of three chemicals, aspartic acid, phenylalanine, <laughs> and methanol. Methanol. Yep. So, really, just to show you, really, um, this Professor Blaylock, he's done 500 scientific references, and it acts as it's called. Uh, and MSG is the same thing, actually. MSG does the same thing. Mm. So, if you have your noodles with MSG, then you should stop that, really, as well. Yeah. Really. But would you mind to read uh, the whole story um, for us? It's from here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Blay, uh, Dr. Russell L. Blaylock makes use of almost 500 scientific references to show how excess free excitatory amino acids such as aspartic acid and glutamic acid, about 99% of monosodium glutinate, uh, MSG, is glutamic acid in our food supply are causing serious chronic neurological disorders, that's brain disorders, and a myriad, that's many, many, many kinds of other acute symptoms. symptoms. Yeah. yeah. So... Again, so many difficult Yeah, questions. so many neurotransmitters, neuro, so maybe we, won't, we, we just pray see this really. They cause excitotoxins. They're called excitotoxin. They overstimulate the brain. Then it has to um, close up the, um, the passages a bit with, with calcium. Then yeah. it, it compensates again yeah. by making the free radicals which start to kill the cells, yeah. kill the brain cells, actually. Yeah. That's they're called. So they're overexcited. And phenylalanine, another com, phenylalanine, um, reduces levels of serotonin in the brain. So that means uh, people get depression. Which means that if uh, there is too much intake of this chemical, mm -hmm. it will lead you to some of the psychological state which uh, you will become very down. Mm -hmm, very down, yeah. And very um, sad. Yeah, and, uh, and you won't be able to sleep well either, you know, and your mm -hmm. appetite. So mm -hmm. very basic parts of, and what's your memory and learning? But what will happen if um, children um, got too much of this? 
Well, you can see the effects, can't you? They can't sleep properly. They can't learn. But you and, see, uh, in the last 20 or 30 years, mm. you see so many, more and more young children become sick of this kind of, uh, I mean, um, attention disorder, mm. sleeping disorder and things like that. You're telling me I, I'm a teacher, you know. <laughs> I'm a teacher and I've, I've watched in these 15 years of teaching yeah. uh, um, the children becoming more and more, more and more unhealthy, um, less able to pay attention, mm. you know, and sleeping, of course. I mean, the computer games is something, yeah. but it's also these kind of things in the diet and chewing this gum, you know. Yeah. And I do tell my students if I get the chance, you know. Yeah. Again, prevention. Prevention, yeah. So I don't want to make people just freak out, as we say in English. Mm. So you can quite simply mm. um, chew on some mint mm. or some parsley, parsley or carry out coriander, coriander. Yeah. 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 But um, again, some all these plants, um, will you be able to find it um, easily in, in Hong Kong? Well, mint and parsley, maybe not so easily, mm. but definitely um, coriander or yim tai everywhere. Yim tai, yim tai, yim tai, yim tai, yeah. Yim tai. yeah. Um, in, in supermarkets, in markets, everywhere, every day. Mm. And it's nice. And I have some other things here, a bit more exotic. Yeah. Um, Again, I, I have no idea how to pronounce <laughs> the first Any Anise seeds. <laughs> Anise seeds. <laughs> Anise seeds. And you know, it is. It's well. yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Wow, very. Isn't that beautiful, really? Very good taste. It is. I mean, I mean, for, for a good smell. <laughs> And it's a lovely shape and a beautiful smell, isn't it? Yeah. This is like, in, another word is licorice, really, for this flavor in English, you know. Yeah. So there's a sweet called licorice. Yeah. And if you smell that, that's kind of the smell you get from toothpaste, really, isn't it? Yeah. You get this smell from toothpaste? Yeah. And can it's you, also... Can you grow it in Hong Kong? I don't know where it's growing, to be honest. Where does this one come from? Um, produce of China. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is this is also a major part of um, Chinese curry, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah isn't it yeah, as well? Yeah. You know, so it's a, it's a lovely thing. I it's yeah. beautiful. Um, and cardamom pods, cardamom, yeah, and cardamom pods. Chinese thing. This is, this is this is more of a an Indian thing. Yeah. Try that. Oh, yeah. Sorry. A cane, very good uh, mm. smell, isn't it? Beautiful, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. In some Indian curries, this is this is or, or an Indian chai, which is the s special spicy Indian tea. You'll find this. I I, I wonder where, whether I can put them um, in the in the rice, the cooking yeah, rice. Yeah, yeah, you sure? yeah. Really? Yeah, if you like that flavour. Yeah. <laughs> but the idea is just just to just to chew one. Oh, yeah. And that will be a breath freshener. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. I haven't bought any cinnamon sticks, but anyway. C cinnamon, I know. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon, I know. Mm. Well, just those couple of exotic things I thought. Food. Food, yeah. Food pyramid. So this is the food pyramid that uh, when I started teaching and this, this uh, arose somehow, you know. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and, and here we have, but this is the conventional one. Mm. And um, carbohydrates, kind of like rice and cereal and spaghetti and that kind of thing, they made a major component, the, almost the bottom of the, the base of the pyramid. Mm. But this was only apparently through lobbying by the, by the food manufacturers. Yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't really be. So we go to the next one, you see uh, more how it should be. So this, the vegetables and, and fruits should be at least on a level, if not, if not, if not above kind of, or below in the, in the pyramid of the uh, grains and everything like that. Mm. You know? Next, next one. Yep. Eating so the, the, it's the same sort of thing, right? So you should be having most vegetables, then fruits and, and beans and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then the, the whole grain should come here, mm -hmm. then the fish, then the poultry. And if you eat meat, it should be a, a Very treat. A treat. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. A treat. Which means that um, um, the, 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 the greatest, greatest, part, greatest part of your diet, of what, what you, 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 mm -hmm. you eat, is from here. It should be, yeah, should, should be. Here. Yeah. And the next one here. Mm -hmm. The last that you you, 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 you should eat is mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Which means that um, the less meat that you eat, the better. Really, yeah. Mm. But of course, <laughs> everywhere we turn, <laughs> everywhere we turn, we have, um, you know, corn syrup that has actually has mercury in it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not very good for the brain. Um, 
and, and factory farm salmon. You should buy wild caught salmon. We come on to that really. And the steroids oh, in the steroids chicken steroids. and the estrogen in the chicken. And of course, some, some fruits and vegetables are, as you were talking about in the Monsanto program, they are genetically engineered. And was it fish with tomatoes and yeah. bees with cabbage and all kinds of. Yeah. But the problem is that right now we don't have a very clear idea about what we have eaten. No. But we'll come on to that actually, Eddie, yeah. we'll, you know, Monsanto. <laughs> Junk food. Junk food. <clears throat> Junk food. Well, I suppose we've all been guilty, haven't we, really? I've, I've, there's some gong jai min. Is it? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I've had some of these, these tortilla. Um, Noodles. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's what can happen, yeah? Yeah. Really, I, I had a, a few years ago a P4 student who weighed the same as me. Yeah. What? Who weighed the same as me, weighed 60 kilograms like me, a primary four student. <laughs> Just like you? Yeah, okay. same, same weight, Not, you know, only half as tall, <laughs> the same weight. Same weight, okay. <laughs> Junk food addiction. Yep. And they're saying here really that, that what happens is that it melts in your mouth so you, you don't feel you have actually eaten anything, so your body's still craving for some more. Mm. And the next slide is that actually, is like um, taking marijuana. If you have all these these, these specially prepared vegetable fats, mm. you actually kind of get a high, yeah. but you need more of this high. Yeah. Yeah, it produces a high in your brain, the, the, the fats. Mm. So it actually is kind of addictive. Um, what is this word? Endocannabinoids. Oh my gosh. Which, <laughs> which is like <laughs> cannabis, which is marijuana, which is the, the kind of effect it has. Yeah. It's a similar effect, maybe not the same, but a similar effect. You, so you do actually get addicted to junk food. Yeah. There's actually a mechanism in your brain. You actually get addicted. We're going to meat. <laughs> Got this nice picture here of meat. So what they do is that the, the meat, all the little trimmings of the meat, all the the, the offal and that kind of thing, mm. they they're mixed up into that kind of paste with um, ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide. Mm -hmm. And you have this, and this put it mixed in with the beef. Mm. Um, <laughs> that you can't tell, you know. Um, let me I read this bit. Shall I? So, f following public pressure, McDonald's stopped using this disgusting pink slime instead of its inside its burger patties. But approximately seventy percent of the ground beef sold in the U.S. in the U.S. contains this disgusting and substandard beef product, according to an investigation by ABC News. And what's interesting here is the the chemical and medical industries provide approximately ninety seven percent of FDA funding. Mm. The FDA only obtains about three percent of its funding from taxation. What is FDA? The Food and Drug Administration of the US. Of the United States. Yes. So those people who are telling you the food is okay or it's not okay, oh. they're being funded, funded by the yeah. people who make... Yeah. <laughs> so actually, it's just, uh, the chemical and medical industries mm -hmm. um, telling us what kind of food is okay or for us and what kind of food is not okay yep, for to us. To cut a long story short, yep. yeah. <laughs> so they have to use this chemical, which is now, it's called RAC... <laughs> Ractopamine, mm. which has been banned in, in Russia and now being banned in China, actually. Mm. What do you use it for? It's um, sort of a, a, um, something to make the uh, animals less fat. Oh, I okay. see. Okay, it I stops see, them I being see, fat. I see, I see, yeah. I see. But they're also, meat is full of, sorry, it was full of, it, uh, full of hormones and all kinds of things, you know, and antibiotics. Uh, genetically engineered corn they eat and all kinds of vaccines and all kinds of things you, which you eat. Yeah. Again, food. Again, food, yeah. Kind processed of, food, of, yeah. Yeah, processed food. Which contains all these monosodium glutamate, mm. all kinds of things, which is, I so say, there's mercury in the corn syrup. Mercury. Mercury, yeah. Of course, well, of course we know that mercury is um, poisonous. Yeah, mercury, yeah. But it's yeah. highly, but that's why we have the expression mad as a hatter in English. Yeah. Because that's the person who makes the hats. Yeah. Because the mold they made the hats on was made of mercury. So they just went, Oh, crazy. No, but, yeah. oh. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, 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 I, I, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they, there's actually a, a hatter in, in Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, who yeah. is mad. Which was played by Johnny Depp yeah. in the latest version. <laughs> it's typecasting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here we are, you guys, this is how they should be labeled in the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> Colon cancer, heart disease. So what can we do, yeah? yeah? What can we do to prevent it? We don't... So there's two kinds of white rice here, mm. uh, white rice and brown rice. Mm. And uh, 
And one story to, sh to share is uh, my, my wife is an English teacher and took her sixth form students to see an operation. Um, interesting. And one of the students was quite bright, I think, really, and asked the doctor, what can we do to stop ourselves? It was an operation on colon cancer. Mm. What can we do to stop ourselves getting colon cancer? Mm. And the doctor said, eat brown rice. Yeah. Simply, so eat brown rice. But where can we get brown rice? From the rice? supermarket. Somewhere. I haven't got it with me, but I have the Thai brown rice. But what happens is there's, there's three parts to rice. Mm. And um, the, the, the outside, the bran, which is, has the fiber, that's good for you. The inside is the germ, which is the really nutritious part that's good for you. Mm. But both those parts are taken out and you're left with the, the nothing part, which is called the endosperm with white rice. So all the goodness, you're just eating something empty, really. And this, it's the same thing with bread. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I know there's that expression in Chinese, sik min bao. Yeah. Right? But, oh, but this is a different kind of yeah. bread. Because <laughs> they're talking about that horrible white stuff, which I never eat, you yeah. know. I'd rather go hungry. And it's the same thing. So it has the same three basic parts as rice does. It has the, the bran on the outside. It has the endosperm in the middle and the germ in the, in the inside inside. Mm. And the good part, the germ and the bran are taken away. Mm. So and you're only left with the empty thing with white bread. But why, why are, uh, are they always taking the best part away from the food? <laughs> well, again, you know, <laughs> again, are we asking questions too deeply, you know? Because uh, there used to be an expression in English as well, um, the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah. But was it really the best thing? No. You know? Because there's also another expression, uh, mod con. Mod con. Mod con. It's an old expression now, but mod is um, modern, mm. and, and con means a confidence trick. <laughs> so, con. Modern a, confidence a trick. Modern confidence trick, you know? So you think you're, you're gaining, it's more convenient and everything, but actually you're losing out. You know? Yeah. Fresh fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yep. They look beautiful, yeah. Fre uh, fruits and vegetables are an important part of your daily diet. They contain vitamins and minerals and plant chemicals called phytochemicals. Excellent. Well, <laughs> the first time I get, <laughs> get, get it right. Food and vegetables can help to protect the body against some diseases, including diabetes, stroke, heart disease, lycopene, in tomatoes, some cancers and high blood pressure or hypertension. Many people do not eat enough fruit and vegetables. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's just one example. Uh, lycopene, anyway, is, lycopene. is, is um, in tomatoes that, it, that in tom tomatoes can help the heart, heart, help the heart, you know. Mm. However, however, yeah, you should eat fresh fruit and vegetables. However, we have a certain Gen thing, yeah, genetically modified food, mm. GM food, genetically modified food on May 19th. The American Academy of Environmental Medicine stated several animal studies indicate serious health risks associated with GM food, including infertility, in meal problems, accelerated aging, insulin regulation, and changes in major organs and no the, the gastrointestinal mean, system. Gastrointestinal system. Mm. Mm. Prevention again. Prevention, yeah. So I don't want to focus too much. Avoid GMO food. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? <laughs> you got, well, you can do that. So you can see uh, from that diagram, you can see that diagram, the typical supermarket really. The red is the GM food, the orange is partly, so it's good as GM food. So cereals, there's a lot, you know. Um, Non-GM, so uh, rice is, is a good one, and beans as well, and pasta. Mm. They're quite safe still at the moment, you know. Um, oils and that kind of thing, very dangerous. And most things like canned foods and most breads, you have to watch out for the breads and that kind of thing. Yeah. So that's basically when you go into the supermarket. So uh, junk, food, junk food should be avoided altogether. It's not even food, you know. Only buy organic meat and, and eggs, even though it might be expensive, but you shouldn't be eating too much anyway. Buy wild caught fish. Or you're getting, getting less and less. <laughs> mm. Less and less, yeah. Less and less. But you know, when I see all this salmon with the white stripes, it doesn't look real to me. Not, not like, no, the, not like the stuff no, that we no, you know, used to have, you know. Organic cereals. Yeah, but <coughs> don't leave out this part. Sorry. Best oil is olive oil. It has the best balance. Yeah. You know, it has the, the saturated and non-saturated. Yeah. And because it's not so mass-produced like the uh, other vegetable oils, it's less likely to be GMO. 
I mean, <coughs> in, in, in Europe, I mean, especially in, in places, in countries like Italy mm. or, or, or Greek, they are still very insistent on this. Persistent, yeah. persistent. Yeah, yeah there, and, and there are certain things, because people take, um, like in Germany, they take their beer so seriously, so you can trust German beer. <laughs> you know, <it's> like, <laughs> in Holland, they take their tobacco so seriously, so you can take the tobacco seriously. <laughs> You're right. In Italy, they take the olive oil. In Spain, even they take the olive oil so seriously. So it's better to have olive oil rather than the vegetable oils. You know, sure. and it's more stable. It won't, won't attack your cells so often, so much. Mm -hmm. um, organic cereals, snacks, and biscuits, and organic nuts and dried fruits where possible. But you 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 level one thing mm -hmm. butter, butter yeah, butter is it good or, or, or bad right now? Well, I, I I I buy my I buy New Zealand butter. I think I trust New Zealand to a certain extent. Anyway, <laughs> you, you trust know. New Zealand more than Britain. <laughs> yeah, more than more than the other countries. You know, well you know because I read something that, that the I think it's being kept as a, an alternative really. Yeah. So prepared frozen meals. I'm working, I do buy some, I cook my own food, I do buy something like that. Mm. So you should be careful that the, the packaging, this is, comes in cardboard, mm. often it's packed in plastic, so it means it's been absorbing the BPA. Mm. So this is in cardboard mm. and it's organic. Organic. Yeah, so. Mm. Prepare frozen meals, even when organic mm -hmm. often contain toxins in the plastic yep. Packaging mm -hmm. canned foods, even when organic, can contain toxin in the cans. Mm -hmm. Choose brown rice and wholemeal pasta. Yep. And again, so <laughs> <brown important. laughs> and pasta. When buying wholemeal bread, leave a slice. Ah. If it goes moldy, buy that again. Yeah, because you don't know. I I, I was drinking, uh, eating some bread, mm -hmm. and and it was in my drawer, uh, uh, my desk at uh, work, for ten days or something, and I was starting to get a pain in my spleen, mm -hmm. and then I looked at this bread. And nothing had happened in 10 days. Yeah. So if you buy bread, leave one slice and make sure it goes moldy. moldy. If it goes moldy, it, is okay. it means it's good, you know? Good, yeah. yeah. When, uh, let me see the quick action. Yeah, and then also when buying fruit and vegetables, mm. so if you're buying some potatoes, for example, leave one, don't eat it, and a potato should sprout like this. Mm. If it doesn't sprout, it means it's got something called bud nip in it, mm. which stops it from growing, and that is cancerous. I so see. make sure, I make see. sure, I leave see. one, one or yeah. two potatoes, or whatever the fruit it is. Make sure it goes moldy yeah. quickly. You know, yeah. 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 body care, shampoos and cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Now this is uh, really um, a very challenging <laughs> um, job because. Um, I, I, I don't think any, any, anybody can avoid that. I mean, I don't use cosmetics, of course, but um, shampoos, mm -hmm. everyone have to. Well, no, they don't. No, they don't. But anyway, just to show you, it's really, they're petrochemicals. They're made of petrochemicals. Mm. And, um, and they can be absorbed. They are absorbed, you know, because you use it on, the, on your scalp, mm. which is your head, head skin and your skin mm. over time. And they accumulate mm. in the organs, mm. um, resulting in mounting brain, nerve, and liver, dam liver damage, okay? But... Um, they contain things like DEA, diethanolamine, yeah. okay, and over 600 personal care products, right? So yeah. they're not very good. And um, again, we've got the next one maybe. Go back. See, they, they're used in, they're used in, no, we go, they're used in 600, sorry, next. They, these, these same chemicals like propylene glycol are also used in antifreeze solutions, in brake and hydraulic and a de-icer and a solvent, you know, but they're also in pet food, processed food, cosmetics, toothpaste, shampoo, deodorants, and lotions. You know. Contact the dermatitis with a skin problem, the, the problem, yeah. Skin problem. Kidney damage and liver, or, mm. you know. And it causes all kinds of things, you know. Mm. And dry skin, which is so ironic, it actually causes <laughs> problems to your skin, these things. And again, we have this sodium laurel sulfate, so you should look for that when you see this SLS anywhere. Mm. And there are products which don't, which don't contain it, you know. And what, what is so ironic, again, it actually, this stuff actually corrodes hair follicles. Oh. So it actually affects your, the, the roots of the hair, so the roots of the hair to grow. And, um, and it, it hurts your eyes as well. Yeah. And the immune system. And it separates yeah. the skin layers. 
It's yeah. actually so bad for the skin, you know. Yeah. And that's what you're using it for, and it's and it's carcinogenic. It causes cancer as well. So all these chemicals, if you see any of these chemicals, mm. behentrimonium chloride, hydrocypropylene trimonium chloride, <laughs> <laughs> linoleomida propyl PG dimonium chloride. Well, <laughs> all these all these things you see if you see any of these kind of things on the label. Mm. But isn't that a thing to go through? Prevention. Prevention again. So. So rosemary. Then you said well, you need to use shampoo, but you don't actually. And um, I have some more thing here. Don't know how the time's going. Do you want to cut it into another show? Yeah. This is rosemary. Yeah. So all you do is make a make a tea. You know. Mm. Just like the other thing. Just make a mm. tea. Is, tea is the the answer to the world's problems. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you make you put it put it in here. Mm. You put it in here and you make a tea. Mm. You just fill it up with boiling water, yeah. leave it to soak, yeah. and then decant it into, into another kind of bottle. Yeah. And you, you rinse walk, you, you rinse your hair maybe. with water. Yeah. Then you then you rub this in. Yeah. Wait for a few minutes yeah. while you're washing the rest of your body or something. Yeah. Then rinse it off. Oh. And just feel how fresh it feels. This is not too difficult to get in, in no. Hong Kong. No. You, you can almost get it everywhere. And and that particular bottle costs twenty dollars. So. Yeah. And that will make you um, a lot, actually, a lot. I can even, so much, so much. <laughs> and you can, you, when you boil it once, you boil it the second, put some boiling water on the second and third time, it's even better the second and third time. Okay. Yeah. So it, it, it improves memory, it enhances memory, lifts your spirits. It's called rosemary, rose, you see? Mm. Rose, you know. It helps relax and ease muscular tension. And as we say here, rosemary Mary tea can be used as hair conditioner. If you have dark hair, a rosemary tea rinse does wonder for your hair. Mm. Scientists are now researching more powerful advantages of rosemary for the use of preventing cancer. Mm. And another thing, a low vera for your skin. People mm. <laughs> is looking incredulous. There is uh, aloe vera. Which is the quite fun. the texture is quite funny. Mm -hmm. And if you if you go to the end of it, yeah, the, the in, on the inside, and we've got a knife. You see, that's the it's inside, quite, the flesh. I mean, uh, um, actually, if you cut this out, you can eat that. You can eat it. It was yeah, a very yeah. bitter, you know. Yeah, yeah, but you yeah. can mix it and make yeah. smoothies with the fruit juice and that. Kind Some of thing. something like jelly. That's right. Um, actually, if you go to the dessert. Um, Shops in, in in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Some of them offer this kind. That's of, right. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, becoming yeah. quite popular. And it, yeah, but yeah. I use it for my skin, and it's, it's excellent. You know, doing the tree planting, I get sunburned quite yeah. often. Yeah. But I use this; it's really, really yeah. good. So you just you just cut the ends off here, mm. cut it, and cut a slice, mm. and cut it, and just rub it. Or oh, rub, rub, just rub it. it onto yeah, your skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's great. Queen Queen Cleopatra used to use it. Yeah. And um, a lower. Aloe vera is, has a, a strong ability to heal burns. Mm -hmm. The gel is used as a protective coat on the wound area and this speeds up the healing process. Mm -hmm. The gel has a soothing effect on burns. It has antibacterial and antifungal qualities. Aloe vera is the perfect first aid plant to keep it in your home, mm -hmm. which means that you can grow it and put it. Yeah, I have one at home, you know, but I, I bought that from Prince Edward, you know, you can buy the big leaves there. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, low vera gel will help relieve eczema. Eczema, yeah, that's eczema. The, the skin disease, you know, it's really terrible. The skin becomes very inflamed, you know. Yeah. yeah. Eczema is an inflammation of the mm -hmm. skin and does it, does itch quite a bit. Treating the red and itching area of the skin with Low vera will reduce the itching and speed up the recovery. Low vera in shampoo will make your hair very shiny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can you can add some aloe vera to your rosemary. Yeah. And you'll have a really cleansing, really fresh, really silky hair. You know. Oh. Yeah. And as we. Yeah. Low vera gel is good to use on dry skin. 
aloe vera will help reduce wrinkles. Reduce wrinkles. Wrinkles. <laughs> wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> wrinkles. <laughs> All you old folks out there. <laughs> yeah, and the gel is often used for removing dead skin cells. Aloe, co- aloe contains axmanin. Axmanin, yeah. Axmanin, glucomannan, mm-hmm. enzymes, vitamin A, vitamins A, B, Z, and E, amino acids, minerals, saponins,、mm. sterols, and salicylic. Mm-hmm. Salicylic acid. Yeah, these are clean, these natural cleansers actually. Oh, coconut oil.、Mm-hmm. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. Some coconut oil here. This is pure coconut oil. So I I thought I would see a real coconut. Oh well, <laughs> any more in the bag? <laughs> But there we go. See, just coconut, isn't it?、Mm, yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. You just you just get a little drop of that and just、mm. rub it on. Yeah. No any chemicals, no. No, but you smell coconut、mm. in that case. Okay, I love smell. <laughs> Give your hair shine. Run a small bit through your wet hair. Pea size for short hair. Bean size for long. To get a beautiful conditioning effect with a shimmer that rivals drugstore serums.、Mm. Moisturize your skin from dry feet to flaky forehead. Coconut. Oil is a great way to nourish your skin without the heaviness of moisturizing lotions. Just a dab will do it. Remove your makeup, ditch the chemicals. After the night out, you just take a one swipe of some coconut coconut oil on a cloth to make sure your sexy cat hair eye doesn't <laughs> end up on your pillowcase. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Natural body care. Yeah,、lip、so still、balm. coconut oil. Yeah, yeah. While coconut oil make、uh, makes lips shiny and moist shiny. on its own,、yep. the res- recipe for coconut oil lip balm make with bee wax,、mm-hmm. shea butter, and coloring with you you so desire is a winner.、Mm-hmm. Insect repellent. Oh, this is、um, mm-hmm. very useful for. For the for the for for the local folks,、mm. mixed with essential oils, coconut oil can keep pests from bugging you all summer long.、Mm. Um, does it mean that you can use it、uh, for the mosquito bites? No, it's just to repel them. Repel them. Repel okay. Them,、yeah. To stop them from keep coming near you. You know.、Mm. Natural body care.、Mm. If because of your of their superior healing properties, bamboo soaps are the top choice of organic organic soap. On the market, bamboo soaps are known to have drawn toxin from the skin, help to cleanse and restore health.、Mm-hmm. There's just the label, sorry, only the label. Because、oh. I almost run out actually. Oh, I can get some more. Yeah, I almost run out. Bamboo soap. Bamboo soap. In fact, it, it actually it, you can get it in Hong Kong. Yeah, well, actually, when you when you when you use it, you, you just, skin feels too clean. Actually, yeah. When you first use it, you. you Feels a bit strange, really, because you're really clean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natural body care improve your circulation, help protect skin from aging.、Mm. Good for psoriasis. Psoriasis.、Mm. What is psoriasis? That means that it goes dry. You know, the skin goes oh, dry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Helps do、uh, helps heal dry, cracking skin. Dermatologists recommend it for acne.、Mm. Acne. Yeah, you know that's excellent. Spot,、yeah. Auto control <laughs> cleanses very well because of. Because it uses activated bamboo charcoal to remove dirt below the skin.、Mm-hmm. 梁锦祥工作室喺呢一个网络言论自由被打压嘅年代，我哋依然坚持自我做好节目，坚拒自我审查，因为我哋相信内容有价，而你哋嘅支持就至关重要。请大家订阅梁锦祥工作室 Patreon， 并立刻成为付费会员。守护自由言论，而我哋喺 YouTube 频道上面嘅每一节节目，都要麻烦大家记得按赞、分享、留言同埋揿钟仔啊！感谢大家一直支持梁锦祥工作室节目。